Since coming back from Africa to live in my old home state of Victoria, I've been immensely enjoying the Australian landscape. I've been able to take my children to some pretty unique remote places already this year. And often, in between doing farm work, I'll be on my computer scouring Google Earth for potential wild campsites I can take the kids to. And I love motivating people with this channel to get outdoors and explore some of your state and this country. But I also enjoy my own backyard and my own local area. And I know most people can't just get in the car for a long drive to some secluded place. So I also want to experiment with little wacky adventures in my own backyard, my own region, my own suburb, to show that you can actually have some pretty exciting and fun adventures here in the suburbs. Now a place that I frequently show in my videos is a lake, only five minutes from my house. Now it's not entirely in the suburbs, but it kind of borders where suburbia meets the bushland. It's often full of families, people getting their nature fix, that live close by in the housing communities. But there are certainly parts of this lake and bushland that you can get out to and really start to feel like you are out somewhere wild and alone. So I thought I'd take Emma for a day adventure out on the lake to show that you can actually have some wild and wacky adventures close by here in the suburbs. You don't always have to go for a five hour drive up into the mountains or down to the coast, but we actually have some pretty cool stuff right here in our own backyard. What do you reckon, Emma? Great. Do you like it? Yeah. You're definitely dressed for the outdoors, aren't you? Yeah. So here we are at our little local lake, and you know, this is a place lots of people come. But we're going to launch the kayak from here, and we're going to go out onto the lake, and we're going to go out into the wetlands and the swamp area. So we feel like we're in a kind of wild place, even though we're kind of surrounded by houses and the suburbs, but that's okay. Emma's dressed for the occasion in a ballet dress. She's looking good, she's looking fabulous. She looks better than me, that's for sure. So this is a bit of a new fashion look, we've got the wetsuit on with the stockman jacket because I expected it to rain, but uh, it doesn't look like it's rain, but I still might go for a swim, so that's why I got the wetsuit on, so we're not too, too cold out there, hey Eva. But we're off, we've got a lot of people looking at us, I think we're quite a strange sight right now, but that's okay, because we want to inspire people to be a little bit weird and a little bit wacky. So off we go. Okay, your jacket's in there, because we don't want you getting too cold, do we? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go, here we go. Awesome. Now there's a little section over here that I've been to before many years ago through the wetlands and I remember finding an old, I think it was like a little house for bird watching but it's been abandoned, the track to it's been closed down and you can actually reach it by kayak so I'm wondering if we can reach there and, and eat our lunch from there and cook up our chai from there, that'll be pretty cool, that'll be a nice little refuge place. Here we go, under the bridge. Oh, that was it, we scared the birds off. And bang your head. I think I've jumped off this bridge before. Whoa. Oh, it stinks. Got a couple of swans flying around over there. I haven't seen swans on the lake before. Whoa. Black swans, beautiful. A like couple of drops of rain in the water. All right, Emma, you ready to go into the wetlands through the reeds? Let's go see what we can find in here. This looks cool, doesn't it? Here's a little channel. Where we go? Somebody ate my oh, that's cool. This is my favourite spot. There's all these little channels that you can weave in and through here in the wetlands surrounded by the reeds. It kind of is like a river. This is the inlet. This is where all water flows into this lake from. Somewhere up here is our little house. No, there's no sharks here, dear. Alright, well I reckon that's probably as far as we're going to get up here. 
But over there, it's probably an area we can paddle into and walk. Awesome. Look where we are. The slime and the slump. Onto the dry ground, my love. That's not GoPro, I think that's kangaroo poo. Kangaroo poo? Yeah, I think lots of kangaroos come here. So this little spot here, you really feel like you're out in the wild somewhere you know, in the wilderness, in swampland or something like that. Even though, you know, we're relatively close to the suburbs and I love that. It's all about having an adventure close to home. That's the point of this video. Now we're going to try and find this little birdhouse in the bush. We're going to see if we can find it. <laughs> all right, let's do it, Emma. Lots of kangaroos. Maybe kangaroos live here. All right, I'll wait for you. Here she comes. <laughs> Good job, I'm just here. Careful that stick. Duck your head. Good work. I'm going around. <laughs> you think we're in danger? I don't think we're in danger at all. I think we're pretty close to the house. Here it is. Here it is. Look what I found. Should we go in it? Come here. I don't want to actually live in here. You don't want to live here? Mm -hmm. You're messing up all our, our lunch. Can you put it flat? No. Do you want to have lunch in here? No. No? It's very dark. It's very dark in here. Look at this. There's a little bird's nest. I found it. That's cool. You could sleep here. It'd be nice and dry if it rained. No. You don't want to sleep here? No. Why not? It'd make a nice house. I don't want to. You've got windows, you've got a door. Maybe we'll cook our food outside. What do you reckon? Great. Great, she says. She doesn't like it in here. There's lots of cobwebs, isn't there? Yeah. Probably lots of spiders as well. I reckon this is a perfect place for a snack. Why don't you show us what's in your snack bag? Yeah, show us what's in your snack pack. Let's have a snack here. Open this bag up. Show me what snacks you packed for today's adventure. This chocolate. Freddo frog. And what else? This and an chocolate. Easter egg. Yeah. Let's have some. Which yeah. one are you going to have? I'm going to have this one. Okay, so I can have a Freddo? There we go. This Freddo frog. frog. Freddo frog. Best adventure food. Oh, I've never had that Freddo mm. frog. So we're gonna go back to the kayak, have some chai, and then we're gonna go to the TP for some uh, for some lunch. We've got a special lunch plan. For what? So we've got a billy, so. Oh. Alright, so since we're kind of in a parkland that you're not allowed to have a fire, I'm not gonna have a fire here, that's just uh, being a bit silly. I've got the little uh, fuel stove here, and we're going to cook up some chai. Now, for chai, we have some fern and sea chai. And I like that name, fern and sea, because I like ferns and I like the sea. I think that's a cool name, resonates with me. And this is from Justine up in the uh, south coast of New South Wales, and it's beautiful chai. We still drink a lot of chai in Africa. So I bought some of this for Aggie, my oh. wife. And, uh, mmm, smells good, smell that. Does that smell nice? It smells beautiful. So we're going to brew some of this up. Hey. 
yum, yum, yum. It's gonna be a bit hot. You got a little cup holder, do ya? A chai cup holder, that's perfect. Yeah! Who is that Mmm. Who is that hair? Oh, it's wonderful chai. Alright, now we're off to our little teepee for lunch. Let's do it. Are you ready? <sighs> Alright, we're like a speedboat, aren't we? We're rushing because we're running out of time. I've got to go pick up Ethan from school soon. And we're going to have lunch first. Yeah. Let's get to the TP. Too many walking adventures. Not enough kayak adventures. My arms are quite sore. <laughs> That's the teepee. That's where we're cooking up our lunch. One, two, big jump. Oh, there it is. It's clear to see. Do you remember we oh. built a teepee on the farm? Yeah. And we slept in it? Yeah. So for lunch today, I thought uh, I'd do something a little bit special, a little bit appropriate, and we have leftover red duck curry. And I thought that's appropriate because there's lots of ducks here on this lake. Uh, we can't eat those ducks, but we can eat our leftover duck, can't we? Yeah. Red duck curry. Oh yeah. Compliments to the chef, my wife. I'm the chef, I'm just reheating the food, but my mummy cooked this up. Some, uh, Let's try the red duck. Oh, it's still hot. Oh, it was wonderful. To see the truth around you. I take the This little day adventure would not be complete without a swim in the water. So maybe you're not used to getting outdoors with the kids, or you don't know where to begin, or you're a veteran outdoors man, but you haven't really explored your own backyard. I'd encourage you to find a parkland near your house, bring a little gas cooker and a meal, and head out to see what you can find. Have a cook up and pretend that you're on a wild adventure. You might be surprised at the little hidden treasures you can find in your own suburb. Emma, you ready to go back home? Yeah. Was that a good day out? Yeah. We don't want to do it again another day? Yeah. Awesome. Here we go. High five.